doesn't sound good at all. Oh jeez, something's broke. Welcome back. Hold on. My microphone is on. Story of my life checking if that microphone is on or not. Today, I'm gonna try something that I said that I wanted to try a long time. So there's a track that I'm currently standing on and it goes that way. Goes to where that hill is off down there. It's tight, way too tight for the Hilux. Not a possibility, I walked it before when I had it and there's no chance that would fit down there. Now, tiny Jeep is tiny Jeep for a reason. It's a lot smaller than the Hilux, obviously. We're gonna bring Tiny Jeep down it. The only thing is why this track is probably my most feared track is because three quarters of the way down, it's sludge, real soft, real sticky muck. It has been raining a couple of days ago. It's dried out over the past few days, but it's always wet. It's always swampy and it's very deep. So I always worried about the Hilux getting through it. And I'm now worried about little Jeep getting through it, if she will or not. But today we're going to be very brave and we're going to find out because we're just going to push it down that hill and see if it comes out the other side. I have no idea. I'm not walking it again. If there's big rocks or something stupid in the way, I'll get out and move it. But we are heather, hell for leather. Heather to the leather. Heather to leather today. Um, to try and get down this track. I'm just, I'm going to go pro it. I'm going to get some drone footage right now. Uh, and it'll be on, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Right. <clears throat> Let's get this show on the road, I suppose. The sun is absolutely blasting my face in, but I'm not going to use sunglasses because I don't want to. Oh, we're in the shade anyway. Uh, never mind. This is our urban expedition vehicle. Very tight. No way we would have fit the Hilux here. Not a chance. You'd want two months of clearing. Oh, geez. Here's a massive, uh, massive rock already I'm going to have to move. Hold up. <laughs> Hiya! Strong like bull. Now, so the last time I was down this track was about, oh my god, 10 years ago on a dirt bike. Uh, actually, I walked this track like a year ago uh, and it was dicey enough but sure you know how fast these terrains change with weather and whatnot so it's it's relatively handy it's the difficult it's the technical part at the bottom I'm worried about and I'm actually worried about it a little bit this Jeep seems to be incredibly capable off-road still a few bits broken on it but we won't worry about that as long as nothing else breaks and that's when he jinxed himself no um, so yeah, it's a handy enough little track, but I always wanted to get the Hilux down it, but that's not going to happen now. Uh, I'm going to close up your window. There's a little bird there like, what are you doing? What is this? Uh, there's a tree down here I'm going to have to pull out of the way too. Woo! I'll get around that tree. I just don't want to get out again. Oh, we're at an angle there now. <laughs> This Jeep is so tiny. Every time, when I'm using this as my daily, I'm driving over back to work going, oh, I hate this Jeep, it's so boring. But then when I use it up here, I'm like, I love this Jeep <laughs> forever. We won't worry about, little bird, could you please piss off? He's jumping down the track ahead of me going, why are you coming down here? Piss off. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna roll over you. All right, we've come to the conclusion that you're getting rolled over.
some interesting noises coming from underneath this. Oh, this is very tight. All right, we're about to scratch the absolute bejesus out of everything. This has grown since I've been here. Just ignore the scratching sounds. Just ignore all them. They're nothing to be concerned about. Oh! Well, you know what they say. We can't go back up now. We can't go back up. Holy sh crap, that's put a massive scratch along the side of the Jeep. Oh, and this is so swampy. Oh no. Legitly concerned. I think I'm gonna four wheel drive it right now. This is getting stuck. I can see how swampy this is. And if this doesn't get stuck, I will chrome plate this Jeep. I kinda wanna bring you for a walk through it. Four wheel drive is engaged. We're going for a walk through it. Me and you, come on. All right, there's an exit strategy if we need it. Uh, so you can see how boggy this is. This is, yeah, it's actually, ooh, never mind, that's soft. Okay, okay, this is soft. The whole way through here, that's very soft and that's quite deep in there as well. Uh, this is the part that I'm concerned about, right here. Because it goes down, you can see how much that drops. And it just, it's very deep in the middle. It's very deep, I know, because you know it's bad when dirt bikes create a new path to go around it because they don't want to get through it because they can't. I've actually seen one gets buried up to its handlebars in here before. That's how deep that is. And it took a lot of people getting into that water to pull that out. Um, oh, there's some remnants of a seatbelt. Someone had to pull themselves out of here before. Right, this is the concerning part. If it gets through there, I'll be absolutely shocked and it's it's a little bit rough the rest of the way. Jesus, that is some weather. Go on, Ireland. Um, loves the place then when it's sunny. Uh, the rest is a bit rough, but this, this is the interesting part. I'll be very interested to see how she fares out. I'm not sure if I should, four, I think I should just four wheel drive it and floor it rather than four low. Cause I mean, I don't think we need four low, but uh, hey. I brought wellies just in case. There's legitly wellies in the back of the Jeep because, because I know what this is like. Hold on. I mean, that stone didn't sink, so it must be that deep. Is that in D filter? Driving you mad. It's not the greatest. I mean, there's an escape route up there. Uh, that's very tight up there as well. Oh, geez. Look what we're after doing. That's fresh. The whole way, oop, I broke the door handle. That's a fresh scratch the whole way along there. Let's check the other side where it was properly scratching. Oh yeah, whole side of it is scratched to bits. It'll compound out, maybe. Anyways, here we go. Right, I have learned. I am going to put on, put up my window. It's in four wheel drive, we're going. There is no turbo mode or power mode or anything like this like there was in the Hilux. I gotta go up around this tree now or it's gonna make shit of me. Never mind, it's just gonna make shit of me anyway. Here we go. Oh, that's really deep. Okay, here we go. something to do and I'm not going to stop the video while I'm doing it this just went very deep very deep through that this just mince meat at that I've seen quads get stuck in that and bikes I have this for you what a good Jeep and it just claimed that as well and nearly how did I get through that? How, like literally. I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock. 
Look at her. She's a little beast. She is a little beast. I have, I have feared that track with a very long time. I've said that's going to swallow whatever Jeep I go down there in is going to get swallowed by it. And this thing just goes through it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to take a deep breath. What the f what? Uh, we'll continue, I guess. Do I even need four wheel drive? No. It's gonna stay in it though. When people were telling me, like, I know I spoke about this already, but when people were saying how capable this Jeep is, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's, it's probably good because it's so small and light, but the four wheel drive for a 96, oh my God, that's a huge hole. If I go down into that now, there's damage done. Oh, I forgot about the secondary version of the swamp. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've, I've forgot something. Uh, there's more swamp. Have I forgotten about this because I haven't walked it in so long? I don't know how much more is to this swamp. Did I, did I just go through the shallow bit thinking that it was the deep bit? My door handle is quite broken now, outside. I'm sorry. We don't get stuck. Oh. We don't get stuck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to jump up on this verge. If you could see the angle that the Jeep is at right now. How did it just go through that? I have feared that track with so long, but now I have new power. You cannot stop me, I'm invincible. This is when something breaks. Nah, touch wood, it won't. Touch some wood right now. Oh shit, that's a big hole. Oh Jesus. If we slip down into that now, we're in trouble. All right, up onto this. Onto this. Ah, Jesus. This is the most capable Jeep in the world! What? Oh. All right, I gotta go down here and see what just happened. Because according to this Jeep, it's the craziest off-road vehicle that's ever existed. My brakes are doing some giving out right now. I'll drive down here another little bit. Oh, my brakes aren't working right now. They're so filled with stuff. This sunk, it actually sunk. I have no side mirror because it's just destroyed. Hold up. All right, okay, there's something wrong with my darkness and brightness. Look at this thing. This isn't the bad side, I don't think. So we've got nothing on the back. Mud guards work the dream. All right, here we go. So on camera it doesn't actually look that bad, but got no mirror, it's covered. Um, I am, I am in shock and I don't know what to say. This was way easier than expected. Do you know what I thought would happen? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I thought would happen. I anticipated us getting sunk. That's why I brought wellies. That's why I brought wellies. And I was anticipating using the winch but this Jeep was like, you're not using the winch today. And I was like, yeah, I'll just use a little winch. And they were like, no, no winch. <sighs> There's flies, man, the flies are following me because that water stinks. The brakes are also full. Hold up. Uh, so there's another track down here and it comes out down there. We've done it in the Hilux, but the forestry have come since and put a big, huge bank there. So we're going to go and try and get over the bank. I've put some nice scratches on this now and they're hidden because of the muck, but that one right there. That's a nasty boy. That's like, you can feel it. So that's, 
probably not going to buff out. And my door handle. Perfect. Perfect. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Like, what do you say when this little Jeep doesn't get stuck in a place that you feared and seen one dirt bike, and, no, sorry, two dirt bikes and one quad get stuck in, like, buried? This Jeep just goes, I'm too old for this. I'm so, what? So, as you know, if you've been following the channel with a while, anytime I do anything off-road or in the sun, as a matter of fact, I don't bring water with me, ever. And now that I look, no, no water, no bottle, no nothing. I'm gonna go and drink out of a stream and you're gonna watch me do it. And if you're disgusted, I don't care. <laughs> I should be wearing sunglasses actually. My, my eyes are burning out of my face. Hey, comment. Oh, I'm after getting stuff all over me. Comment down below how many diseases and stuff I can get out of drinking this water while I do it. Did that make you uncomfortable? It's absolutely healthy, I've been doing it for years and I don't tell anybody. <laughs> Alright, there is a fresh track up here. And I, when I say fresh, I mean mid, possibly today. Uh, no dirt bikes look to have drove on it or anything like that yet. But it goes the whole way up there. Half up that way. But... I'm not going to drive it today. I'm going to leave that till the next video. You got to watch it. Got to watch the next video. You got to subscribe. Uh, the reason I'm not driving up there today is because the forestry are up there. I can hear one of their machines in the distance, and I just drove past a bunch of empty log trailers, and here's the logs that they'll be picking up. So they're around. I just don't want to aggro them. It might make it less than ideal for me to get up here. Uh, anyway, let's go and hit that other track real quick. this look at the angle I'm at right now she bottomed out and she just pulled herself off it. hey the whole Jeep is back like this and I was just trying to level the camera but we're at a serious angle so I can't level it now we're in four low I'm literally sitting backwards right now <laughs> hold on here we go Cameras, there you are, you goon. Hold on, let me show you the view you really care about. All right, how did you like that, you sickos? Drop her back into normal four-wheel drive now. Because when she's in four low and you accelerate on a hill and then there's a shutter, 
you're obviously your foot bounces with it because it's not like nicely fed like the Hilux where it just sailed up any single hill you wanted. So your foot starts going and then you start going, you're like rrr, 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 rrr. Ah! Um Yeah, but hey, I love this Jeep. I thought that I didn't for a while. I was like, I don't know about this. Because uh do you know this clip right here? Yeah, I bent the anti-roll bar with that. So when I lock the wheel fully, it scratches the inside of my ally because it's dropped, it's bent down the tiniest bit. All I have to do is get a hammer and tap a tap a tap a. It's almost like my mechanic told me, don't go off-roading before you get it through the NCT. The NCT is booked, but. Hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Maybe, maybe listen to him. Maybe don't go off-roading. Uh, but hey, then you wouldn't get this content. Isn't this fun? We're into second gear by four-wheel driving. We are eight in road. I'll bring hula cam into this more often, if you want. I know what you're like. Sick, sick. Anyway, we're just off-road. That's it. There's an interesting part up here. We brought the other Jeep down this one. You've seen it, it's where I tried out the new tires. That was nice because it was a long Jeep, so your wheelbase was really spread far apart. So the big crazy bumps and jagged ones didn't matter, whereas this is a lot smaller, obviously. So it takes them way different, way, way differenter? Way more different? Oh geez, that's a bit rough now for me. Oh my God. Oh, my brakes are very weak. I need to wash them out. All right. Okay. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, my brakes are very weak. Oh, I actually got to, thought I had to go for the handbrake there. Oh, I just pushed them and they were just like sponge. Uh, yeah, there's, there's muck and shit all over them, all in around everything to do with them. But hey, at least I didn't go off-roading before I had the NCT. I just have to concentrate here now. Could you just... Could you just... Give me a second now. Because this... This isn't as smooth. This isn't as smooth. As the other Jeep. That suspension over there is bottoming out the whole time. Like, it's springing. It's opening up. Okay, there we go. The last hurdle. The final hurdle, which is always the hardest hurdle, is this one up here. And that's gonna round the video off, but we're not done yet because we're gonna... Easy now, easy. Ooh. All right, at least this is small and light, so we can jump up here real easy. And accelerate a little bit. I can't see the ground. I can't see the ground. Oh, I don't know my path. This is crazy. This little Jeep, man. This little Jeep. She don't make sense. Hey. Hey, you. How do four wheel drive? Hold on. This is the end of the video. Oh my God. The camera just did a front flip and I caught it. Hoo hoo hoo. Right, let's look then. So she's got a beautiful big scratch there. The brakes are very spongy, but you know what? I am majorly impressed with this little vehicle. Majorly impressed. This is what I was trying to avoid, you see. Is that hole down there? That's, that's very deep. Uh, and when I was coming out that track, I knew the hole was here somewhere. So I was like, I'm just going to shoot across this way and hope that the Jeep doesn't go down into it. And if it does, here we go. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am so relieved that I've taken on that track and it didn't sink. The next thing we need to do is wait for it to rain a crap load and then hit it again because it'll be way deeper. Yeah, that's a good idea. Subscribe. Like this video. Comment with how many diseases I currently have wrapping around my body really quickly because I drank that unholy water and um, I'll see you in the next video soon Grazie
Goodbye.